Let's find, let's find, um, let's find the asymptotes using algebra for cotangent on this one. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the inside here and we're going to set it equal to zero. So what does X have to be to make the inside zero? Because I know that if all of the inside was zero, cotangent would have an asymptote. Because at zero, sine is zero, right? Uh, See, so check it out. Sine or cotangent of x equals cosine x divided by sine x. And so it's wherever sine x equals zero. And if you're looking at the unit circle right here, the point is one zero. Sine is zero. And so if you're dividing by zero, cotangent would be undefined. And so I'm saying, what does x have to be to make this equal to zero? And you could also do that with the other asymptotes. Now, these asymptotes are only the asymptotes from zero to two pi for cotangent, for the mother function for cotangent. So here we go. Uh, we have this one equals pi, and this one equals two pi, and then we do algebra. So I'm going to subtract pi from both sides, and I get uh, x divided by 2 equals negative pi, and then I multiply both sides by 2, so I get x equals negative 2 pi. I do the same process for the next one, I get x equals 0. Do the same process for the next one, I get 2 pi. Another way to find all your other periods, or all your other asymptotes, is to use the period of cotangent. That's what we're going to find right here. To use the period of cotangent and just start at one asymptote and then keep adding the period. And if you keep adding the period, you find the next asymptote. So if my period equals pi for a regular cotangent, what am I going to divide this pi by to find the period for this cotangent? Whatever is multiplying to x. One half is multiplying to x, so I'm going to divide pi by one half. So that would be... 2 pi. Right? Right? Right. So if I started at this asymptote and I added 2 pi, I would get 0. If I added 2 pi, I would get 2 pi. If I add 2 pi, I would get 4 pi. And those would be all the asymptotes. <laughs> yeah, for, for secant and cosecant, you're adding half the period to find every asymptote. But for tangent and cotangent, you add the whole period to find every asymptote.